Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max and today we're gonna to be tying the Demon Mitch. Uh, this is another Matt McCannell pattern. Um, great little, you know, winter tailwater pattern. Um, good Midge larva. Uh, fairly quick and easy. Um, got a little flash on there. Um, size range, I'd tie this in like an 18 to a 24. Um, I know he has a lot of success with this fly and uh, if you tie a couple up, you should as well. Uh, so we're gonna start out on the 1273, this is an 18. Um, it's a red hook, um, 3X long. Um, good little good little midge hook. Um, so I'm gonna start with uh, some UTC 140 in the black. Uh, this is the CNF bobbin. Um, pretty nice, you gotta use a threader. It's got some uh, foam in there that kind of helps keep traction. Uh, the thread and monitor how much you're pulling out. So that's kind of a, it's kind of cool. Um, I just need two bobbins for this. So I of course also have my, my loon bobbin uh, with the red thread on there. Uh, but thought I'd give the CNF a shot today as well. So I'm just gonna start by making my thread wraps going down the shank here. Started way back off the eye and I'll snip out my tag. Plotting my thread out a little bit, and I'm gonna bring this all the way down to pass the barb. And then we're just gonna let this bobbin hang here. Once I got that, I'm just gonna leave that off to the side. Then I'll go in with my red 70 and start that just ahead of my black thread. And you really wanna make sure your thread is flat for doing this part, just so you can cover up all the black um, and you get the nice red color. Uh, the black thread's gonna be our rib. So make sure you keep flattening out your red thread and probably make a couple passes over this. Still keeping it slim, but just making nice covering wraps. Um, to kind of cover up the black thread. A little bit of a taper there and a quick whip finish. And I'm done with the red thread. Let me snip that out. And now I'll kind of work the rib. Uh, this you want to make sure your, flat, your thread isn't super flat. Uh, you want it a little bit bound up so uh, you can make nice, nice even segmented wraps going up to provide your rib. So we'll leave that up at the top there. Got nice even segmentation. So now we got some Magnum Flashaboo. This is the holographic red. Um, if you use normal Flashaboo, it's not quite as thick. It doesn't cover it up as well. Um, so we're just gonna make a little bit of a collar here and then we'll finish with the, the black thread for a little tiny head on there. And uh, if you trim your Flashaboo at a bit of an angle, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to tie in. So just a quick, easy trick, tying these smaller midge patterns. Hold that. Tie in the tip there. Take it back to my last rib and bring the thread back up to behind the eye. 
and then I'm just gonna make nice clean wraps. And I'll capture. Make one in front, another one behind, another one in front, and and I can snip out my flash glue. Try and get this tight. So I don't have too much of a tag coming off. Once I got my flash boo in there, I'm just gonna build a little bit of a thread head. Make sure everything's secured in there. And then I can do another whip finish and we'll get in there with the UV and coat the body with UV. Just help keep the fly together, give it a little more sparkle, a little more profile. So got the UV clear fly finish and thick. Put a couple of big globs on it and then we'll use a bodkin to kind of spread it around and even it out. Bodkin. And we'll hit it with the UV. There you have it, Demon Midge.